On the steps of my high school, I handed my mom my diploma and began to tell her my truth and how I wished to navigate through the world. And she just, with open arms, hugged me and said she al always knew that she loved me, she would support me, whatever I wished to do. When I started my transformation, it was on the books in Newark that if a male child was to appear in public in female clothing, I could have gotten arrested. I didn't really feel the blunt of prejudice against me because my mom and my friends felt as though they needed to shelter me. So doing local shows here in Newark is how basically the um, world of fashion was introduced to me. I signed with the agency called Zoli. They sent me to a photo shoot for uh, the Clairol box, and my color was going to be dark auburn, box 512. I was the most popular color. As my career started, let's say, rising very quickly, I started getting a little more worried. I thought maybe one day my truth would be told. So every day that I left the house, I would say a prayer, please, Lord, in the name of Jesus, don't anyone disrespect me, call me out of a name, or try to embarrass me. And please don't let this be the day. So as I'm working with Essence Magazine, I was being questioned by one of the hairdressers that I know this person, did I know that person? These people were all of my closest friends back here in Newark. So I was working on the second role of film at the time, and I just happened to glance over and saw the hairdresser who was questioning me. He told my truth on the set. After that, literally the next day, um, I stopped working. I called the agency and they had no work for me that day. And they said, okay, call tomorrow and we see what we can arrange. So that went on for a week and I realized what happened. After that, I kind of fell into a deep depression. Every now and then I would run into one of the models um, that I had worked with and I was no longer she, I was he which was quite disturbing for me. So one day I ran into a girlfriend of mine and she said that she was going to Paris and I should come with her. We stayed at 6 Rue de Nou. It was better to be poor in Paris than to be poor in Newark. <laughs> so fresh off the plane of Paris and being exposed to another lifestyle, um, I was on a high and... Um, I should have never left Paris, and that is my only regret. But the reason for me to move back to Newark was because of um, my grandparents. They were falling ill, and during that time, uh, my mother started falling ill, too. And um, the 14th of uh, January... 2015 is when I lost my mom. And because of her love for me, I was able to um, live my truth. 